Hey, what's up YouTube fans? This is Eddie from Eddie's Customs and Restorations and I'm bringing you another video about your vehicle cranking and not stopping. And what I mean by that is you turn the key, it's starting, it's starting, and then when it finally turns on, you let off the key, but it doesn't stop. It just keeps going, going, going. In this case, I got a, uh, a 75 Bronco right here. And, um, and the client here, you know, told me about that issue that he had and he basically pulled the cable off because he had a, a wrench handy and he was able to get the positive cable off and it stopped cranking but anytime that he would touch the cable on the positive right it would start to crank again so he called me over and i went by i had him i had him wiggle the key back and forth you now just in case the cylinder was kind of stuck over there or something and then i was over here you know making like like touching the post right and it would still crank Okay, so the next thing, we came over to the uh, to the solenoid over here, the starter solenoid. Also known the monito in Spanish. Okay, so you got two two uh two different posts over here along with your larger posts. Uh power goes in here, power goes out over there. But one of these has a letter S on it and it'd be this one right here. And so the way to test this to see to make sure that it was this guy I disconnected this one so I went ahead and pulled it off like that and I uh, I left it off and I touched the cable right here and it still cranked over now that automatically eliminates the possibility of the cylinder being the problem because that means that the that this guy is not energized it's not even touching this anymore you know because they're they're um they're disconnected right so since it was still cranking that means this guy is stuck so all you got to do is give this guy a couple of wax and that's the reason i had this this uh screw right here give it a couple of wax and it'll it, and it should knock it loose okay and then you can hook this guy back up and then do your testing again. Chances are 95% of the time you're going to knock it loose and it's going to stop. It, it, it's no longer going to be stuck. But that generally means just go ahead and, and replace it. You know, you don't want to have an issue with that again. You can burn up your starter like that. So anyhow, uh, they're very simple to, to uh, swap out. Just make sure you disconnect your battery cables when you're doing this because this red cable right here is hot. And by hot, I don't mean temperature. I mean as in there's there's current flowing through here. So if you disconnect this guy and you just lay it on, on, on top of the fender here, you're going to create a massive short, okay? So make sure you disconnect your battery when you're replacing this. All it takes to replace it is you remove that little screw right here, this little screw right here, so these two. And you're going to you're gonna pull these two out. And then you're gonna unscrew the two the two uh, cables from these two different terminals, and that's it. You put your new one in and repeat the process in the reverse, and then hook your battery back up, and you'll be back in the road in no time. So that's it for this video, guys. I wanted to keep it short and sweet. I hope this guy this uh, video puts you back on the road, and um, hopefully it was the source of your problem. So until next time, guys, you all take care.